how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel in today's video we'll check out some more galaxy tips tricks and hidden features that not many of you know about if you really want to improve your samsung user experience then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let me show you a useful trick related to the s pen as you might already know that if you own a Galaxy S23 or S24 Ultra, you can take notes using the S Pen with the screen turned off and this can be super useful at times. Did you know you can not only take down notes without waking up the screen, but you can also directly pin it on the always on display. So you can easily access whenever you want to. To pin your important notes, all you have to do is just tap on this pin icon located at the top right corner. Once you do this, you will see that your handwritten note will appear on the always on display, which can be extremely useful at times. This will stay on your always on screen until you click on the close button. Guys, just make sure you have enabled the always on display so you can pin your notes for easier access. Well, most of you might already know that Samsung has added some new clock styles in the One UI 6.1 that will help you customize the lock screen even further. But what if I tell you there is a way to unlock more? If I lock my device, you can see how beautiful and unique the clock look on my lock screen and I'm sure you won't be able to find this unique looking clock on your Samsung phone. In order to get these kind of exclusive clock faces to customize your lock screen, you need to long press and go into lock screen customization. Here just tap on more and select this option that says download fonts. Now you can download some premium looking fonts from the Galaxy store and take your lock screen customization to the next level. Unfortunately, these are not free and you need to pay a small amount of money to unlock them. But trust me, they all look absolutely stunning. As you can see, I have already downloaded a couple of paid fonts on my phone and I think it's totally worth the price if you're into customization and really want to make your lock screen stand out. Next, let me show you how I customize my Samsung keyboard. First, you need to tap on this gear icon, go into keyboard settings. Here you need to change the theme. By default, it is set to light, but I prefer keeping it as solid black because I think these effects look really cool on a dark background. And in order to add these beautiful effects, when you type anything on your keyboard, you need to have a GoodLock module called Keys Cafe. So just open the GoodLock app and install the Keys Cafe module. Now go inside Keys Cafe, select style your own keyboard, go to effects, and here you can add some really cool effects to your Samsung keyboard. If you are already using the Keys Cafe module, then make sure you have applied the dark theme instead of light. I think it just looks great with all these effects. Now if you look at my home screen, one thing you'll notice is that I was able to reduce the app icon size and it looks much better than the default size which we usually get on Samsung phones. Guys, if you want to customize and change the size of your app icons, again open the GoodLock app and this time you need to install the HomeUp module. Just make sure you have updated and running the latest version of HomeUp. Once done, now go inside and select home screen. Here you will get this brand new option that says app icon settings. Just select that and now you can change the icon size as per your requirement. You can make the icons as small as 80% or go all the way up to 120%. I usually prefer to keep it at around 90 to 95% and I think it's the perfect size for the app icons. Not only this, you can also hide the icon labels on your home screen as well as the app drawer. So this is the easiest way to customize your app icons and make your home screen looks much better. Right now, if I want to unlock my phone, I have to put in my password or scan my fingerprint, which is totally fine. But there are times when I turn off the screen, I don't want it to lock immediately because I know I'm not going to leave my phone anytime soon. As you can see, now if I turn on right away, it doesn't ask me for a password or a pin. You can easily set it up by just going into your phone settings, lock screen, and then go inside secure lock settings. Here you just need to select this option called auto lock when screen turns off. You can then choose how much time your phone should wait before it gets locked. You can go all the way from 5 seconds to 30 minutes. Let's say I select 2 minutes and I also need to disable this option called lock immediately with side key. Now when I turn off the screen, my phone will not get locked unless 2 minutes have passed. This is really useful, especially when you are sitting next to your phone and you want to pick your phone multiple times. Every time you don't have to enter your PIN or password. Did you know you and your friend can connect two earphones at the same time and watch a movie or listen to the same song on one phone? As you can see, I have got two earphones connected to my phone and now if I go onto Netflix, watch a movie or let's say if I open YouTube music and start playing a song, 
I just need to open the notification panel. Tap on this media output icon. Here you will see the list of connected devices. You can select whichever earphones you want or you can actually enable output on both the devices at the same time. Not only this, you can also set up a custom volume limit to all your earphones and speakers that are connected via Bluetooth. Just go inside the volume settings, tap on the three dot menu, select media volume limit and turn this on. Here you can actually set the volume limit so the media volume will not go beyond a certain limit when you are connected to headphones or speakers. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some really useful hidden features that not many Samsung users know about. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.